of the whistleblower gave a very inaccurate report. And as you know, certain of the media uh, released information about a man that they said was the whistleblower. I don't know if that's true or not. But what they said is he's an Obama person. Uh, it was involved with Brennan, Susan Rice, which means Obama. Uh, he, but he was like a big, a big uh, anti-Trump person, hated Trump. Uh, and they, they said terrible things. Now, I don't know if it's true or not, but that was reported by some of the media, so you'll have to find out. I don't know why the media is not on it, because the whistleblower gave a very inaccurate report about my phone call. My phone call was perfecto. It was totally appropriate. But he gave a report, he or she, but according to the newspapers, it's a he. They think they know, they know who it is. You know who it is, you just don't want to report it. CNN knows who it is, but you don't want to report it. The wh and you know, you'd be doing the public a service if you did. The whistleblower gave a false report. And because of that false report, people thought bad things were done. And then you had Schiff go out and speak before Congress and before the American people and give a false story. He made up a story. And then I released, after, after all this was done, I released and everybody said he didn't do anything wrong. But the whistleblower should be revealed because the whistleblower gave false stories. Some people would call it a fraud. I won't go that far, but when I read it closely, I probably would. But the whistleblower should be revealed. Then I want to ask another question of you. Where is the second whistleblower? And why did Schiff make a lie when he said about what I said on the phone call. And why didn't the lieutenant colonel say that he wrote a letter to the White House with certain little comments about the phone call? And all of those many people that listened to the phone call, why didn't they have a problem with it? Because they didn't have many people listen to calls between, I know that. And for instance, the Secretary of State Pompeo was on the call. Nobody had with all of those people, very few people that I know came forward. And they only came forward when you asked. And some of them are never Trumpers. So, but why didn't all of those people listening to this absolutely, totally appropriate phone call, why didn't they come forward? So, you know, it's a whole scam. It's an impeachment scam. And you know what it is? It's between the Democrats and the fake news media. Uh, we'll be showing that to you real soon, okay? Yeah, go ahead.